welcome to another video in which we will talk about what is a common method bias when we collect our data using a survey based questionnaire. We will also talk about what kind of questions can have the problem of common method bias and at the end we will also talk about how to use SPSS to do the Herman single factor test to identify if we have the common method bias or we do not have the common method bias. So starting with the definition, while measuring the behaviors, opinions, perceptions and other things like this, the answers of the respondents can vary. For example, based on their respondents uh, situation, context or the way you have developed or you have written a question. So we will talk about this thing in the example in the next slide. But if you ask the same question at point 1 and then at point 2 from the same person and there are chances that the answer may vary, that variation is known as the common method variance. Now let's suppose this example. What if we ask you this question, what is your name? Do you think the answer is going to vary if this question has been asked at time 1 or time 2? I don't think so. The answer will always remain the same because this is something which is defined, which is quantitative or which is definite. The same way if the question is asked what is your date of birth? The answer, do you think it's going to vary? No, the answer will remain the same. But the problem of this common method bias is with these kind of questions, with the perceptions, with the opinions, because they change over time. Or uh, the answers to these questions may change based on what kind of mood the person is in, uh, how you have developed the questionnaire, or maybe the situation of that respondent. Let's suppose if we ask you this question, are you sad? So at T1, your life situation or the context or your mood is such that you say absolutely not. And on Likert scale, you might answer strongly disagree because you're not sad at all. But the problem is the same question if asked to some other person or uh, the same question if asked to you at some other time, you might be feeling sad and you will be replying strongly agree that yes, you are sad. The same way if the question is asked, are you happy or do you feel motivated at work, there are chances that answer is going to vary. So this is a problem of common method bias, which is known as common method variance if the answers vary at different point of time and when you move from one person to the other person. So let's go to the questionnaire and see what kind of questions should be included in the test and then we'll talk about the Herman single factor test. So if this is your questionnaire, usually you ask two kind of questions. First questions are related to your demographics, for example your gender, your age, and other things like educational level or your experience. Now these things usually do not change because of the common method bias because they are almost the same unless you ask th these questions at a very different point of time but that is a different thing. If we talk about the variable related items or questions, now these are the kind of questions that have a problem that if you are going to ask people at different point of time or different people in different times or different situations there are chances that the same person might give you one answer at one point of time and the same if asked at different point might give you a different answer based on number of things that we are not going into detail. The same way when you ask questions related to other different variables, for example, how creative you are. So based on the feelings of a person or the context of a person, the answers might vary and the same way how much innovative your organization is or you are, the answers of the people might vary. So what you do is you do not include these questions in your analysis, but you do include all of these questions in your analysis when we'll be performing the test uh, in the SPSS sheet. Okay, now we'll have to look 
for how to see if there is a problem of common method bias in your survey based data. So the most famous test that we used is known as the Herman's single factor test for which the software that we use is SPSS and the threshold value that you need to remember is that the percentage variance of uh, your test should be less than 50%. So if it is less than 50% that means there is no problem of common method bias. But if it is above 50% that means there is a problem of common method bias in your data. The command that you will be using in SPSS is the analyze and then from the analyze you will go to dimension reduction and then you will go to factor and then uh, you will have certain options that uh, we'll just see in the SPSS sheet how to perform the Herman single factor test. So let's go to our SPSS sheet and see how to perform this test. So we are at the SPSS sheet in which we have collected data from number of respondents. Now we want to perform the Herman single factor test here. So let's go to this variable view and see what kind of questions we are going to include in our uh, analysis. So these are these three questions are the demographic questions. We are not going to include these uh, uh, into our uh, test. And then if you at the end look at these uh, computed variables, we will also not include these. We will only include the items of the questionnaire that we use to collect our data for our all the variables. So how do we perform it? In order to perform this test, we will go to this analyze and then we will go to dimension reduction and then factor. So when you click this factor is going to give you this kind of window. Now here we will have to be very careful what kind of uh, questions are we going to include in our analysis. So we will start from the first variables first item and then the last variables last item and we will shift all of these questions into this span. Then uh, only one or two things that you need to change from here. That is if you go to the extraction you are going to be looking at this method and you can change this method from principal components to the principal access factoring. This is one thing. And second thing is as we call this test as Herman's single factor test. So we need to fix the number of factors to one to make it single factor test. So continue and just click OK. The moment you click OK you will see these results. And if you can look at uh, this value, be careful that you will be looking at this value percentage of variance which is clearly saying it is 36.673 and we've already talked about it that it should be less than 50% in order for your data not to have the common method bias. So if this value is less than 50% you are fine you can continue with your analysis and if this value is above 50% then there is a problem of common method bias then you might have to consider other tests or you might have to uh, see what are the problems with your data. So this is all about the Herman's test and uh, the common method bias. Thank you very much.